That Pesky Rat by Lauren Child. That Pesky Rat. This is me. I'm the one with the pointy nose and beady eyes. The cutesy one in the middle. I live in trash can number three, Grubby Alley. Every now and then I come back to find that someone has emptied all of my belongings into a big truck and driven off with them. It's very upsetting. I'm a brown rat, a street rat, but people call me that pesky rat. I don't know why. They say I smell, but that's not my fault. It's the dirt. Sometimes when I'm tucked uh, into my potato chips bag and I look up at all the cozy windows and wonder what it would be like to live with creature comforts, to belong to somebody, to be a real pet. Most of all, I would like to have a name instead of just that pesky rat. My friend Pierre, who is a chinchilla, belongs to a lady named Mad Madame Fifi, who he has a very glamorous life. He lives in the lap of luxury, and I say I sure would like to live in a fashionable apartment and be fed chocolates while I sit on a feather cushion. Pierre says, it's not all cushions and chocolates. Madame Fifi has me shampooed at the pet parlor once a week. No, I hate taking baths. I think I'm allergic to soap. Then there's this Siamese cat named Oscar. He lives with Mr. Washington, a busy businessman. Mr. Washington is always at work, so he doesn't have time to wash fur or be strict. If I lived there, I could do whatever I liked. Oscar says, doing whatever you like can get tiresome after a while. I sometimes get a little bored watching the same old sh shows on TV. I even have to get my own supper. I'm very good in the kitchen, but I hate to be bored. A lop-eared rabbit I know named Nibbles works in a circus with Mr. Hoopla. It must be so exciting, never a dull moment. Swinging on the trapeze one minute, tiptoeing on the high wire the next. Nibble says, it's fun hopping through hoops in a tutu, but sometimes I wish I could take off the clown's nose and put my feet up. Maybe it's all a little too nerve wracking for me. I think I'd really like one of those owners who does a lot of sitting around, like Mrs. St. Clair. Miss St. Clair, her Scotty dog, Andrew, is always sitting by the fire, having supper on a tray, and they spend the evenings doing puzzles together. Andrew says, on the whole, I feel very well cared for, and Miss St. Clair is good company, but it's kind of embarrassing when we go shopping. Miss St. Clair makes Andrew wear a little hat and coat. I don't think clothes would suit me, but I would do almost anything to be somebody's pet. So in the morning, I go to the pet store and ask Mrs. Trill if she has any customers who might want me. She says, there isn't much demand for brown rats. I'm afraid you aren't very popular with the public. And I say, I don't see why not. I'm very good company, always popping up when you least expect me to. And I'm happy to eat anything, even if it has been slightly nibbled. Mrs. Trill says, well, you could always hang a notice in the window. You never know. Me. So I write, brown rat looking for kindly owner with an interest in cheese. Hobbies include nibbling and chewing. Would like a collar with my name on it. Would like a name. Would prefer no baths. Will wear a sweater if pushed. Yours sincerely, brown rat, in parentheses, that pesky rat. P.S. Sorry about bad paw writing. Ha ha ha. Me. Not a very good picture of me. Ha ha ha. Then I wait. And I wait. 
and I wait until on Tuesday old Mr. Fortescue walks by and he looks at my and stops to look at my notice my notice he really has to squint because he has such bad eyesight and then he looks at me and says my what a pointy nose you have and goodness me what a long tail and such unusual beady eyes I'll take him I can't believe my luck and neither can Mrs. Trill and Mrs. Trill says are you sure and Mr. Fortescue says oh yes I've been looking for a brown cat as nice as this one for ages Mrs. Trill looks at me and I look at Mrs. Trill and we both look at my notice, but neither of us says a word. Ha, huh. look at his rat looks like. Cat. I love being a pet and I am trying to be really helpful. I pick out the best cheeses by using my excellent sniffing nose. I clean the kitchen by nibbling up the crumbs. I help Mr. Fortescue cross the road by scaring the traffic and I'm always there when he comes home. So here I am, a pet with a name. So what if I have to wear a little sweater? And Mr. Fortescue says, well, Diddles, who's a pretty kitty cat? And I squeak, I 